When I shield, what I want to do is, I scoop from underneath, I go for his throat. Yes? Here? There. When I pass, I go for his uh, ribs or the liver. When I do the backhand, I go for the floating ribs. Uh, when I do the inside, when I do the inside, yes, I'm here. Slap. All right, so again, once I'm shielding, go for the throat. As I pass, go for the liver. When I'm here, you can go, you have two things. You can either go straight or you can just go for the kidney. Uh, then when you go the inside pin, see, um, my hand should always pass his face before I pin, yes? Because in reality, take a look at this. Imagine this is his face, yes? So, a chimba and back. So, that. that's what you want to do. So, when I'm doing that, as I slap him, boom, boom, then the next lap, hand up, hand up. That, that's supposed to be, yes? Make sense or not? Yeah. Because it's a drill, he's just staying there. Yes? So when I'm doing this, I pin, then back of the head. So again, he comes, footwork, neck. Next, here, next, here, step, boom, there. So one more time, look at my feet, yes? Right. Uh, shield, hit. Pass, hit. Backhand, hit. And then inside pin, back of the head. Yes? So this is the target that I want you to take. So the target that we're choosing is not by accident. This is to make sure that you either create distance, sink him, sink him on the front leg, sink him on the back leg, or make sure he's forward. Because this is what you need for the throws and takedowns later. Yes? So he's here. I shield, straight. I pass, liver, here, floating ribs, inside, back. Yes? So I'm attacking Ray, yes? So I'm attacking Ray. So I'm playing with Ray, yes? so, but he has to use all those four in a good sequence. So I'm attacking Ray, boom, yes, yes, I'm attacking Ray, yes, yes, I'm attacking Ray, boom, boom, yes, I'm attacking Ray, so I play with him, I play with him, so I play with him, boom, yes, boom, there's no double, so, single, single. so I'm attacking him, I'm there, boom, so did the pass, and some there, boom, yes, there's the backhand, up here, boom. So that's the inside, the boom, and then, yes? Yes or no? Yes. So what I want you to do is, don't just stand and attack him. Same thing with Ray. I want him to be on his toes and keep on moving because I want, to, I want him to assume that this is an actual knife attack. But, it's not, you know? <laughs> so don't just stand there, right? I'm, I'm playing with playing. So I'm here, yes? So he controls the distance. If I can touch him like this, he's too close. So if I can touch him like this, he's too close. So he needs to see me go like this. He needs to make sure that he controls the distance that I need to take one step forward to really touch him. But if I just go like this and I can touch him, he's wrong. I'm right. Because that's what I want to do, touch him. So now, take two arms length. Two arms length. Yes, two arms length. A little bit more. Yes, so like this. So for me to touch Ray, yes, for me to touch Ray, I have to go one step forward. Boom, that's it. So move back, don't just stay there. I'm, I'm attacking. So here, see, maintain, maintain, maintain. Maintain two arms length. Maintain two arms length. Yes. Even if I'm not attacking him, but I'm not going to attack him, but maintain the two arms length distance. Yes? Maintain two arms length. Now I have to commit. Boom. Now I have to commit. Boom. Yes? Now, uh, the correct sequence. Shield, pass, back. Yes? So when I commit, boom. So now I can go. So I can attach him now. So now, boom. Yes? So now I can attach him. So I need to step forward. Boom. Make sense? Yes? So this is to make sure that you're not lazy. Anybody could do the drill. Here. Anybody. Yes? But, anybody could do the drill here. Yes? But he needs to maintain the distance. So I'm the one who's pressuring him. If I step forward, he has to step back. Yes? You see? So this is to create a correct mindset where when you see somebody holding a weapon, Coming towards you, you don't just stand there waiting for what's going to happen. <laughs> Make sense or not? If I, have, if I have a knife and then I walk to him, what are you going to do with the knife? What do you think we're going to do? I'm walking towards you with a knife, with an aggressive manner. I'm not there to ask you what time is it or where did you get your haircut? No? So when I'm here, so I maintain. I maintain, yes? You maintain. So now, boom. That's it, yes? So you maintain. Maintain. Don't, don't, don't stop that. Always flanking. Try to flank me all that. Yeah? 
from there. From there. There. Yes. So look at my shoulder. Don't just don't just you know. So I'm doing this. He knows what I'm gonna do. Maintain, maintain, maintain. You too close. You too close. Now, the reason why I have to take a step forward is because he's too far. If I'm going like this, yes, and I cannot touch him, oh, now I will commit. Yes, does it make sense or yeah, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. So not everybody in the world will just go, ah, like that. Maybe he just wants to feel you, feel how far you are, then he sees it, then he lunges forward. So you have to understand how to be familiar with that mindset. Mm. Yes? Maybe nobody's going to commit. Maybe he's just going to go, he's going to go like that. But if he's going to touch you, maybe one moment, he will actually go like that. Yes? yes. So empty hands with a knife. Maintain two arms length or a little bit more when you have a knife. Yes? So that for me to touch you, I need to lunge forward to actually touch. I need to lunge forward to actually touch. I need to lunge forward to actually touch. Boom. Yes? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.